Hello, my name is Alan Prost and we're going to be talking about part 7 of our series on pulmonary function testing and in this case we're going to be talking about how to do a single breath nitrogen washout. It's a little bit different than a complete nitrogen washout where we're just doing it over one breath. So we're going to coach our patient by again using a mouthpiece. They got to get their teeth on the outside, make sure there's no obstructions to flow and keeping a good seal on here. Like always, will have the nice nose clips on there. Now with this test, what they're going to do is we're going to get them just nice, relaxed, even breathing. So about four or five breaths. There's no limit on that, but we want to establish a nice, even breathing at functional residual capacity. So the patient just breathes nice and easy in and out. All right. And then when we feel that they're ready, we'll tell them to pick a big breath in. And as they're doing that, we're going to trigger the machine so that they'll be breathing in 100% oxygen, okay? And then, after they've taken a big breath in as much as they possibly can, big, 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 big breath in, big, big breath in, big, big breath in, big, 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 we're gonna blow it out, gentle, blow it out, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, and we're gonna keep blowing it out, keep blowing it out, keep blowing it out, keep blowing it out, until you get no more air left in your lungs, then you can't blow anything more out. So that's the key elements of this test, all right? And then they can relax. Now. When they take that big breath in, they're gonna notice a change. They're gonna be breathing in 100% oxygen. Okay, so it's important to let them know that. So we start off nice, even breathing, and then when we feel they're ready, we hit, this, we hit we trigger the machine so they take a big breath in of 100% oxygen, all the way in as much as they can, and here's the trick. It's gotta be at a nice, even flow rate. All right? So. They're going to take that big breath in, and there's some guides on the machine, and it's a slow flow rate. So you want to demonstrate to your patient that they're going to take a big breath in and blow it out, but at relatively low slow flow, slow flow rates. All right? So, dice the breathing. And then a big breath in, at a nice even flow rate. Nice even flow rate all the way in, as much as you possibly can, so your lungs are right full, and then blow it out at a nice even flow rate, and I'll tell you how to blow it out nice even flow rate, so it's gonna take quite a while. Just keep blowing and keep blowing and keep blowing and keep blowing and keep blowing until you're blowing all the air out you possibly can out of your lungs, and then we're just gonna have you relax, okay? So that's not too hard to do, but remember, the flow rates for our single breath nitrogen washout are critical, so we want nice even flow rate about half a liter per second, which is quite a bit slower than normal, about half of what you normally would be in, okay? And the same for exhaling. So that's a single breath nitrogen washout. So let's see what this, so let's see what this looks like with our patient. So get them on there, just nice easy breathing, click it in, make sure we've done our pre-gas analysis. And we want to get about four or five of those background breaths in there. That's breath number two, breath number three, and it'll give us an indication. We've got our baseline established. Okay, all right, so there we go. So this is the one now. Breathing it all, breathing it out, breathing it out, breathing it out. Now, breathing in. Trying to follow along the inspiratory flow, just a nice, gentle, easy flow in now. Keep breathing in as much as you can. Keep breathing in, keep breathing in, keep breathing in as much as you can. Trying to get to that dotted line that's about 85% of VC. And then exhale up against the other sloping line. Just a nice, easy exhalation. Keep going, keep going. Nice exhalation all the way out as much as you possibly can, as much as you possibly can. And there we go. And that's end of test. So let's see how that looks on the graphs here. So we got a good baseline established with about four or five breaths at FRC. That's very important. Then the patient exhales to residual volume and then a nice slow inspiration, just slow, slow, slow. And at this point, they're breathing in 100% oxygen. So breathing in as much as they can, you want to coach them to keep that nice, even flow rate as long as they can. Big breath in as big as they possibly can. And then they're going to start to exhale. And now they're exhaling, exhaling again. Again, that flow line is our guide. Get a good long exhalation. And you can see that we've got that completed. And there we go. 
And then our analysis is that we're going to look at these volumes and that closing volumes and make our determination of total lung volume from those. This test has a high degree of variability and uh, is not often done, but it's still a very interesting test. So this is single breath nitrogen washout. Thank you very much.